Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the 5 Minute Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels, and today we're coming out of the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, 1st chapter, 18th verse. It's 1 Corinthians 1 and 18. And it reads out of NIV For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Again, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Now this talks about the power of the cross. And uh, here it says that the, the message of the cross is foolishness. And this is Paul writing a letter to the, uh, to the Corinthians. Uh, and uh, he's talking about God's power and his wisdom. And, you know, it says that there's a message in the cross. And, and uh, when you look at the, 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 the Christian religion, the, uh, the cross is the foundation of everything that we believe in right now. Jesus' resurrection is, is the foundation of the New Testament. Uh, if you take away the cross and, and Jesus' resurrection, then everything in the New Testament is, uh, is invalid. And uh, there, are, there are entire religions that have done that. There are entire religions that, that still believe that we're in the Old Testament. Or there, there are still reli there are religions that believe that the Old Testament is valid, but then they, uh, the New Testament is not, and that someone else came and provided a, uh, uh, another message from God that carries on from the uh, Old Testament in lieu of the, uh, the New Testament of what we believe. But you know, there, there's uh, the problem is that Jesus is uh, is not just mentioned in the Bible. You know, it would be a valid argument that the cross never happened, that Jesus was never born, if he only uh, existed in the Bible. But when you look through history, uh, there are several hundreds, thousands of ancient texts uh, that mention the life and times of Jesus Christ. He's not just in the Bible. He's in, he's in uh, records of uh, Roman records, you know, things that happened. Uh, uh, he's in different uh, books, and diff different people have, uh, have mentioned him throughout history. And uh, it is a fact that there's a man named Jesus Christ who walked this earth. It is a fact that he performed miracles, and it is a fact that he died on a cross. It is a fact, uh, because he was witnessed by several people, that he arose from the dead. And... Uh, this is foolishness to those who are perishing. To sinners, uh, the people who believe in other things, this, this is foolishness. That someone would die uh, and give their life uh, for mankind, uh, you know, they don't want to believe. And uh, the, the things that God has, has authorized us, his grace and mercy, uh, people don't want to believe that God is that graceful and that merciful. And, uh, but, but to us that are saved, to us who have, uh, whose eyes have been opened, you know, it is the power of God. The cross is the power of God. You know, and uh, Jesus' resurrection, and, 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 the, and, and, you know, there are several things that happened with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, one, uh, it, was, it, was, it was proved, even though it was not accepted by, a lot of, by, the, by the Pharisees and the, and, and, the, and the Sadducees, that Jesus was really the Son of God. I mean, the... the Here's a man who was crucified, you know, and then he arose three days later from the dead without anybody uh, doing anything to, to, to resurrect him. He just came, he, you know, nobody brought him back from the dead. He brought himself. He had the power to lay his life down, and he had the, he had the power to pick it up. And uh, no one else has done that. No one else, no one else has been able to do that. Um, people have... Um, been brought back from the dead, and uh, that nobody has been dead for three days, buried, put away, and just woke up and, and came back to life, and were resurrected from the dead. Like, no, no one has done that. Uh, we've had some people where you know there, we've had people who've died and uh, been under medical uh, care, and, and, and their, their heartbeat stopped, but you know uh, they were brought back to life. But uh, we've had people who were frozen. And their bodies typically just slow down so much that they were able to come back to life. But nobody has been resurrected after three days away Jesus Christ was. And uh, for us that are saved, it's the power of God. We know uh, what we receive 
uh, from, the, from the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We experience the power of God in our lives. And, uh, and we know and trust God to do the things that his word says he'll do. So what, what, what God has tasked us to do as Christians is to continue to, to spread his word, to continue to give his word uh, to those foolish people who don't believe who are perishing. Okay, who are perishing. And, uh, you know, the thing about God's word is he always says that, you know, people are believe ever sin, you know, but never, but never sin. Ever hearing, but never listening. You know, ever listening, but never hearing. You, you know, and if, if, if you don't listen, if you don't listen and continue to listen to hear God, you'll listen and never hear what is being said. It'll never register. Your heart will be hardened, and, uh, and, you'll stay, and you'll stay into in a perishing mode. You will never become a saved individual, saved by the grace of God, saved through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is the only way uh, that you can come to love God is to accept the resignation, accept Jesus Christ as your, as your, as your personal Savior, and, uh, and claim that through your, through your words, and then, uh, and then live that, uh, live that type of life that shows that you are a follower of Jesus Christ. That's all the time that I have now. Uh, just remember, mm, we are saved, and the cross to us is God's power. God loves you. I love you. Have a great day.